Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to use conditional split to split the data depending upon some data values and load them into multiple SQL Server tables. So first of all, I have prepared a, a text file that has uh, some data. So let's open it and uh, see what we have here. We have ID, first name, last name, address, phone number and region code. So if you guys see that I have region code AS Asia and, and in North America, EU, Europe, AF, Africa and SA South Asia. So what I want to do, I have created some table that um, has Asia, North America and Europe. If any data come in with these these region codes, I want to load to the those specific tables and anything else, uh, let's such as AF or SA or any other region data comes, I don't want to want to uh, load into these tables. Instead of that, I, I just want to load that data to a generic uh, customer table. So let me show you my tables. I have created uh, four tables. DBO customer that will be uh, having the data that's, that doesn't belong to Asia, Europe or North America and these tables will be containing the data only specific to those regions. So we, we are getting this text file on daily basis and we want to load the data to these four tables. So let's create our SSIS package by using bids or SSDT SQL Server data tools. Go to the SSIS packages tab, right click on that one, create new SSIS package. It created package one, let's rename it and say uh, conditional split demo. To read the data from the flat file, we have to have use data flow task Inside the data flow task, we have to have source and destination. So we are going to use a source, our uh, flat file source, as we are reading the data from the flat file. So open the flat file source, create a new connection, browse to the file. So my file is in, in the input folder and the, the file name is customer file, uh, file and this is .txt type. Now, if you have any qualifier, text qualifiers or you have want to skip any rows or let's say you, your first row do not have um, a header column so you can skip this one. My, in my case I do not have to make changes as my file is common delimited and I am I'm fine with these all uh, by default settings. So click on columns and it read the data correctly. It is common delimited. Okay go to advanced. Now if you go to my table definition in each of the column ID is integer so all of them has the ID integer so what I want to do I want to uh, change the data type of ID here so uh, you know we do not get warning or errors so let's change this one to integer and then first name is worker 50 last name address I'm gonna leave this one as it is phone number in my case uh, what, what uh, uh, we have here is the uh, string 50 but in the table what I have I have only 10 okay so I change that one and region code is also 50 but as you guys see that the region code I have is only like AS so there are two characters so let me go here and actually I forgot to add the region code column so I'm gonna make a change here so let's make a change real quick so we'll say alter table DBO customer and then say add region code and they make it uh, we can make a char too as we know that it's going to be always two character and uh, that, that's uh, it and same thing we can do to underscore asia we are adding a new column I've, i forgot when i was preparing this one so i'm gonna uh, change this one real quick so for north america and then we have EU. So I'm adding that uh, extra column so I can save the values in that. Okay, let's uh, refresh. So we have region code in on all of the uh, tables now. We have here. Let's go and check that. So it's fine, it's there. Okay. Now let's create our SSIS package. So we are, uh, you know, working on the flat file source already. So uh, here, output column width is. Uh, 50 so I'm gonna change to 2 and uh, this is okay with the string I'm fine go preview the data and looks okay 
hit OK. Retain null values from the source as null values in the data flow. That means if I'm getting the blank values and I want to convert them to the null values, I can check this box. Um, I don't see I have any, but I'm going to just check, you know. And then uh, I have columns. So what we are doing here, we are just taking a look on the columns and uh, external column output names and all. It's working, just looking good. Click OK. Next part is bring the conditional split and uh, create different branches uh, or split our output depending on the region code where values. So we go to common and then bring the conditional split here. Okay, connect your flat file source to conditional split. Double click here. Now let's start writing our expressions. So we are writing the expressions on region code. The very first one I'm saying Asia. So if I have the data that's, you know, as AS, I want to just move that uh, data to the this output. I'm look, so I have to compare. I have to put AS. Okay. So what I did, uh, I took the region code value and I'm saying uh, if it is equal to AS, uh, then uh, you know move to the Asia or Asia output name. Uh, that that will be our output. Uh, you know, one of the output we will be creating. Then uh, we we have to create multiple outputs for the other one. Let's say for a region, I'm gonna just copy and uh, paste. Uh, just remember, if you are comparing with the capital, you know, or um, minimum, make sure you can maybe up, uppercase on the both sides, you know, so your comparison is correct instead of, you know, you you have some value sometimes that doesn't match and uh, th that way the value would not be uh, going to this uh, output, they can, they can be going to default, you know, uh, output. So let's con take the next one. We have uh, EU and we can call it Europe. EU or PE. Then take the next one. We have NA, North America. We call it North America. Whatever doesn't uh, uh, follow in these three categories Asia, Europe, and North America, that will be going to the default. So we can uh, call them default. We can call it anything what we want. No region or uh, unknown region. We can call that. So that's your choice, whatever you like. So we are creating four outputs from this condition split. Three depending on these values and whatever not depend or not matching with these values, that will be going to the unknown, unknown region uh, output. Let's hit OK. Now we have to load the data into the tables. So we can use OLADB destination. Let's bring the OLADB destination and create a connection manager. So here, um, first, we have to connect uh, this output from conditional split. So let's connect Asia and then hit OK. Now let's go to OLADB destination and create a connection manager. So I have a connection manager already here because I'm using the same one for uh, all of the demos. So I'm going to drop it, recreate it just to show you. You have to provide the SQL server instance name and then the database where your tables are. So here, in our case, we have the tables in test database. Uh, hit test connection. OK. Now hit OK. Select the table in which you want to load the data. In our case, where we want to load the data, this is coming from Asia. So we should be loading to AS. Customer underscore AS. Map the columns. OK, first name will be going to first name, last name. As the column names were not matching exactly from source and destination, that's why we had to do some manual work. If they are exactly the same, they, are, they will ma ma map automatically. Like in such a case, we have ID with ID that was mapped. We have address and address was mapped. So if uh, first name was not F name, so that's why we had to do it manually. Hit OK. Now we see that the first output coming from the condition split uh, is Asia and that going to the uh, destination. Let's rename this one. So we will say Asia table. Now bring the second OLADB destination so we can load to the next one uh, and bring here, select the next uh, uh, output. So you see that the first time it was shown us Asia, Europe, North America outputs, but now every time we are mapping it, it decreases in them. So go to the Europe and hit OK. Now we have to select the table. 
So as our connection is the same because our tables are in the same database, so we don't have to make a new connection. We will be using the same connection and uh, we will be selecting the table EU for Europe. Go to mapping, first name, and then we will hit last name and ma map them correctly, hit OK. Now, the third one is uh, when we are loading the data to the North America. So let's uh, rename this one, Europe table. And uh, next, connected. Next output will be North America and we will be mapping to customer underscore NA. Fine. We have to map these manually because the names are not exactly matching. See the work I have to do every time here. If I would have just the change first name to F name and that will be much easy on in my source when I was working here on the flat file. But I didn't bother myself at that time so I have to work here so many times. And uh, I suggest, you know, uh, take a close look on your source and uh, destination columns. And uh, if you can make a changes, you know, in the first point, why not? So we, let's change this one to say North America table. The last one, when we said that if, we, if uh, these three categories, the, uh, the data doesn't... Uh, have these na na values such as Asia, Europe, or uh, North America in the region code, those one we just want to put those uh, records in the customer table. So I have to bring another um, OLEDB destination and connect to the customer table and go to mapping, just map first name, last name, hit OK. So this one we can just say um, customer table. Now let's run our SSIS package and see if our records are divided into different regions and then they are inserted to the related tables. So right now what we have here, um, let me see, customer table has some records because I'm using this one for demo so no it doesn't have it. So I'm going to write some select query real quick uh, and uh, so we can make sure customer underscore AS. And then we have a control C, we are pasting NA and then EU. Okay, so if I run all of them, there is there are no records in these tables. And uh, if you see that the customer table, we didn't have even region code. So we, 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 we forgot to add the region code so we can go back and say uh, alter table DBO customer add region code and char to okay let me show you if we didn't have the region code what happened if you would not have a region code uh, let me see why it is not shown as the region code it is here uh, let me go back and check that customer okay because in select query we didn't have the region code that's why but we have added um, the region code so we are fine we don't have to re-add uh, in this case we can just all right so what we have here we have actually added already and everything is there so mapped correctly let's run our SSIS package and see if the records are inserted correctly So it read uh, five records uh, from the source, uh, one went to Asia, one went to Europe, one went to North America and uh, two records uh, moved to the customer table. And let's go back and run our queries and see if they are moved correctly. So if we can see that here, this is our Asia table and this is our uh, North America table and this is our uh, Europe table and we can see the region code, they are moved according to the region code. And the very first one is the generic one, that's the customer, that region code doesn't lie between Asia, North America or Europe, then they will be sent to this table. So they move to this table as it is Africa and South Asia. So that, that's how you can use condition split to write the expressions and redirect your uh, input rows to the related tables. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.